Speaking to journalists at the Government Media Center in Kampala, the State Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Honorable Sarah Mateke Nyirabashisi, said government is aware of the challenges faced by the youths which came with COVID-19 but advised them to make use of government-available programs such as EMUGA and also consider skilling to start afresh. We surely feel for the youth and uh, the programs that we are putting aside is the skilling component. And the skilling component is going to be rolled over this financial year, uh, especially where we have our institutions and where we have built our industrial parks. I believe that this skilling will also help our youth. Thank you so much. She also revealed that government has set aside 164 billion Ugandan shillings to help address problems faced by the youths in the country. We have uh, uh, the Youth Livelihood Program, which has been running and it is still running. If you go to every district, right to the last sub county, we have their money for the youth livelihood program and the youth benefit from there. And from our from our budget, this financial year, we have a budget of 164 billion, which is set aside for the youth. The National Youth MP for Northern Uganda, Honorable Okot, promised to push the agenda for the youth on the floor of Parliament and also find appropriate mechanisms to tackle unemployment and other challenges faced by young people. So, ours for now is to ensure that as much as possible we push the agenda of the young people, at least in the floor uh, of, 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 of the house. So we'll continue to do that. I know we've just started, but the five years, a long time, and we'll do that with all that we have. Thank you. This year's International Youth Day celebrations will be held scientifically at State House in Tebe under the theme Youth Innovation for Transformation of Food Systems and Sustainable Human Health on the 12th of August 2021. Nalgo Muyingo, Africa Today.